bat so that the wicket may be bad, it may help the bowlers. Anyway, it is going to be very interesting cricket. And India is rather very keen to win this one day cricket as they have lost two, two matches before. And if they do it, there will be more interest in one day cricket, the last match which, which they are going to play at Karachi. Thank you, Dana. Definitely no effect on the hero bars who has been doing very well indeed. Rather Mudassar was lucky not to be run out when Mahindar tried to hit the direct throw to the stumps, just missed it. Otherwise he might have been out by yards. And Manilal definitely bowled the last ball out going ball a beauty and he has bowled a good over. Hitting two conductive fours of Couple day, one on mid wicket. When he just lifted effortlessly, went for four and the other extra cover drive. I think uh, he may prove once again a thorn in the flesh of the Indian attack. He's playing at will. He's playing perfect cricket, and I think he's playing positive cricket, not negative one. It is uh, becoming easier and easier, and I think uh, five runs far over. Is a good doing to start with, and uh, let's see how they finish. Pakistan finish at the end, but if they keep the tempo seven to eight runs, I think it's not difficult for India to do it on a wicket like this. The batsmen do not find much difficulty to play with the back foot, and particularly the hero bass skill got him for, for, and also a beautiful pull which was just short of a length. And I think he should bowl on the off stick, little bit up to the batsman. Don't allow the batsman to go back and hit him. Otherwise, he would be into difficult. I think uh, Mahindra should have been asked to bowl on because the batsmen are well set in. And uh, neither Sandhu nor uh, Shastri could put on any impression on the batsman because on a wicket like this, which is slow and just short of a length ball, if a batsman knows how to use the right foot back, can dictate terms to the bowler. And I think the heel pass and Mudassar Nazars both are playing good cricket and they are not giving an out of chance. It's going to be some Pakistan goal, you know, that uh, the shape of the ball uh, gets bad, you know. But uh, last two test matches are in. Batsmen playing aggressive cricket. Both the batsmen playing aggressive cricket. 14 runs have been scored in this over. And uh, Miyadas uh, lifted twice in the mid wicket of Sandhu. Perfect timing shots. And uh, he has been batting extremely well along with uh, Zahir Abbas, who has already scored. Uh, 68 runs and I think uh, he's near about his 100 to make, he may make his 100 in this one day cricket so well Shastri is very consistent uh, has been bowling length and line he has not given away many many runs particularly Miyadar wanted to drive him, got the inner edge sometimes the outer edge, at last he got one run of his last ball of the over on the whole Shastri has been bowling well and both these batsmen of Pakistan are really playing a top class cricket, Zaheer Abbas, I feel it would be India versus Zaheer Abbas in this series. It does not allow the batsman to go back with the right foot and then hit him, try to make him play forward, doesn't matter if he drives, because it's not so easy to drive on this wicket, but you can do it with a back. And he was absolutely behind the ball to catch it, and uh, Zaheer got alive. Life does not mean anything in this type of cricket. Even we do not get any further wicket. If we contain the rate of scoring, it's a good going for India. But to give away the runs and give the life, then you cannot uh, win matches. A change. He must have now felt it when he dropped the hero was. How oh, he effortlessly hit a six of him. 
Veer Abbas, you all know, I have been all the time telling that this boy will be a headache to Indian attack, whether they are playing one-day cricket or test cricket. He is a man who is always on the top, attacking the bowling, no bowling, a miss to him, slow or fast. He's hitting at uh, his own will. I think a great player and you never find difficult, into difficulty. Everything he gets in the middle of the bat. It's a great thing to see a great player executing great shots all over the place. The run rate now, Pakistan averaging 6.375 runs per over. 24 overs have gone. And Pakistan at 153. Not out 83 and Miyadad not out 43. 153 for two Pakistan. It's going to be Mahinder Amarnath to continue and he is going to go to Javed Miyadad. They should go for the second and Miyadad will get it very easily. Two more to Miyadad, 45, 155 now for the loss of two weeks. Swept down once again to deep square leg, Madanlal the fielder, one more. So Javed Miyadad now goes to 46 in Pakistan to 156. from third man. Played two glorious shots, particularly one six straight to the boundary. It was a treat to watch him. It seems to me his wrist turned to a finer steel and his shots were going like rocket. I must admire this man being a short fellow. A short fellow, so short, but they are really good one. Goes with rapid speed. It is a treat to watch such a player executing shots like this. It run well, but the batsmen couldn't be stopped because they are playing at the best. Zahir Abbas, who has scored 89, but for one blemish, he has played a wonderful cricket. And on the other hand, uh, Miyadak is also playing delightful cricket. It is treat to watch him. The particular is sixer of uh, Mahindra. For ball by Mahindra Amarnath, give away only three runs, contain the rate of scoring to some extent. Particularly Mahindra tried his level best to steer through the slips, which he couldn't. Anyway, he bowled a little quicker than the previous over. That should have been the right course to do it. Sahid now 91. I think he's quite a good score, but still, I, I, I think. Uh, India is capable to make six to seven runs per over against Pakistan. As such, I think it's not a difficult score to score. And uh, let's see in the next. Uh, how many overs are left? Five overs. Five left. overs. How many runs Pakistan make? They are all out to hit. And the bowler, particularly Mahendra Manak, had a very rough time in the very first two overs. But third over was a fairly a good one. Let's see what he, what he bowls this over. But he's because he couldn't get the length of line the first two overs. So he bowled the third one, a good one. But uh, still, you know, Kapil Dev is a great bowler. He can also contain the rate of scoring. And he's faster than Mahindra Amanath. I think Captain has done the right thing to change it. Marin uh, full cry. <coughs> and he has given away 10 runs in this over. I think uh, this is a stage when it is not easy to get the batsmen quiet and when they are going all out for the bowling. And I think the Bas has already scored 96 and Miyadar 67. The only interest, according to me, is left in this match is whether Miyadar will be able to score under. Zaheer is going to do it positively, though nothing is positive in cricket. 
but uh, I've got a great faith in this batsman and I think he's going to make a record to score another 100 against India. 6.55, the Pakistanis are averaging at the moment for over 29 overs gone, 190 on the board for the loss of Mohsin Khan and Mudassar Nazar, a bowling change coming on at the college end, Mahinda Ramanath. Replacing Madan Lal, Madan Lal 7 overs for 37 runs. The entire grounds now bathed in mellow sunshine. That goes to 71, Pakistan to 195. Lal hit him all over the place. It's, it's a record. That uh, Zahir Abbas scored another 100 and uh, I think this boy is always on the top of the bowling and Indian batsmen will find difficulties in the series and no wonder it will be of Zahir Abbas versus India in the rest of the matches. He's, I think I have hardly seen a batsman doing and uh, hitting the bowler in such a manner as uh, Miyadar has done it previously, he did against uh, Mahindra Ramanath and this over against uh, Kapil Dev. He got a very good going and I said it, the only interest in the match was whether he would be able to score his 100 and I think he's likely to do it. Another 19 runs came off that over from Kapil. But I'm sure on this hit, India has the batting. fighting side and certainly they have the ability to go for this score, 224, which is a good one. 224 now, the 32nd over coming up. And Mohinder Ramanath. Zaire is out after playing a magnificent, brilliant, scintillating and most entertaining innings. And there's Siri Khan, the man who took that catch, and there's Zaheer coming back. Smiling away and a standing ovation. Everyone here, capacity crowd of over 35,000, standing to Zaheer as he comes back to the Superlative hundreds and uh, one of the greatest hundreds in one day cricket I have seen. Miyadad, who was very, who was in a hitting mood, hit uh, Mahindra Ramanath and uh, Kapil Dev in such a manner that both of the bowlers could not do anything against him. Effortless sixes were seen, and but one catch which uh, Wang Sarkar held inside the boundary line and after finishing the catch he went off the boundary line and declared by the umpire, not out in my opinion, it's a very debatable issue, so far I know a little bit about it, he should have been out. To be very frank, it was a catch held inside the boundary line, not out of the boundary line. Once you hold a catch, that means the action is completed, and after that you can go wherever you want to. He did not go in the same action while catching, because he caught the ball inside the boundary line. Therefore, there was no justification on the part of the umpire to give him nut out, and this is rather very strange, and maybe in the opinion of umpire, umpire, after all, the judge, I cannot say anything here. Whatever I could see from here, I have described it, and in my opinion, he was out. Miyadad and Zahir Abbas played beautiful cricket. I tell you, Miyadad has also come into form. There are already so many in, in Multan, one-day cricket match. Two boys of Pakistan scored, Zahir Abbas and Mohsin Khan. Here, here uh, Zahir Abbas and Miyadad have scored. That means he has also come into form. He's a very dangerous player. Once he gets going, it's difficult to stop him. And I think, in my opinion, he has played better class of cricket from one day cricket point of view than Zahir Abbas because he hit with effort, effortless sixes and fours. On the other hand, Zahir Abbas also did a great job, but for one blemish, when Mother Lal missed him at the boundary line of Mahindra Ramanath, 
did make, it did make a lot of difference, you know, had he been out, it was 170 odd runs on the board, when he was missed, 50 odd runs have been scored by these two players, after that, uh, blemish and I always believe catches win matches whether it is one day cricket or whether it is a test cricket I feel I mean Pakistan has done very well indeed 252 in 33 overs a very good going and I don't think India will be able to surpass the score if they do it they deserve it because 7 point something to be scored in each over is a big problem to do it in one day cricket when Pakistan has got all the seam bowlers with them and in my opinion the match is going to be very interesting ending and Pakistan India has also got many many batsmen like Patel, like Kapil Dev and so many others and if they get going they will certainly score but 7.3 is a uphill task for India to do it if they do it they deserve to win like a bullet. Six servers, there are 35 for no loss, Srikant 19, Gavaskar 10, six extras, and that over. There's no uh, rules and regulation of cricket, you know, you can play a left side ball to the off and off to the leg, you know, if you've got a good timing and you've got a good striker of the ball, you can make plenty of runs. But he did bowl well, though he gave away 11 runs. And a beautiful sixer hit by Srikant was really a beauty. And as you're seeing there, that Pakistan after twin, after seven overs with 26 runs, and India are ahead of them because in 36 runs have been scored in six overs. So off to a good start. So Imran now going to go to Sirikant, who by virtue of that single on the last ball kept the strike. Time it well. Oh. Imran still operating with three slips, Mohsen first, Mudassar second, Miyada third, Raja in the gully. So, just Fakhi in the covers once again. The two umpires consulting about the shape of the ball. you know because uh, the ball which are uh, manufactured in the month of uh, July during monsoon you know the cork becomes wet you know and if they put on the co a wet cork you know so it's bound to lose the shape you know and also this woolen thread you know which they fix on there that also makes a lot of difference pitching that short Sirikant of course always Willing to take the challenge, went for the hook, edged it, and there's Bari's left glove getting to it. But what a magnificent shot by Sabre. Lovely shot indeed. What a effort. Six. Um, it's not so easy to do it against Imran. Well timed. Came back behind the ball, hooked it nicely, mid wicket six, really a grand shot. So India boasts the 50, 52 for no loss. Very well played so far, 56 in six overs. Seven overs. Seven overs, I'm sorry. So that's a run rate of eight runs per eight over. Eight runs that's per over. over, that's what they require. And I think if, they, if as long as City count is there, possibility of the same run rate to retain is always there. Tahir Nakash taken off at the pavilion end. He felt well, that may be the reason, otherwise it was a clear catch. There was no point to stand there. But anyway, he batted courageously and made many fluent shots, particularly three sixers. It was a treat to watch. There it is again. 
Kant was uh, brilliantly held by Lahir Abbas of Shahid. That boy hit three glorious sixes as long as soon as he, as long as he was on the at the crease. It was a treat to watch him. He must have got the extraordinary eye because sometimes he doesn't use his feet, but to time the ball so well that uh, the spectator like it so much, you know, that uh, he's, a, he's a cricketer who's always for the liking of the crowd and uh, he played many, many grand shots and if he gets going, it's difficult to stop him and I think he has done pretty well for India and India is in a better position at the present moment, 64 for uh, one, wicket. one wicket in eight overs, ninth over is in progress. Let's see how many runs they are going to make. I must say something about Patil. He's a great stroke player. There's no doubt about it. The manner he played uh, in England, the manner he played uh, here against Jalaluddin. But I must say he's a little bit slow on the feet, you know. He must need some exercise for the feet. He should be more quicker because the stroke player must have got a quick football, which is lacking. And I think uh, he will have to yeah, for such things so that he will be quicker of the feet, of quicker of the feet, and if he becomes quicker of the feet, he can be more aggressive. But the others, you know, they are bowling up and down stuff, and they can conveniently make six, seven runs in an over. If they continue to have that, India may surprise Pakistan in one day cricket. It's going to be that's so why he's missing it. You know. And if you skate one and the other way, he may be able to connect. A quite happy position, but uh, they are not yet out of the wood because uh, they have scored only 72 runs in 11 overs. As uh, Pakistan has made uh, 258 in 33 overs, and uh, Patel and uh, Gavaskar are playing all right, but they should enhance the rate of scoring because uh, the scoring at the present moment is below their mark. What uh, this Chiri uh, Kant did it. He, he hit the bowler all over the places and uh, make the rate of scoring about eight runs per over. But now it has gone down, and India will have to enhance it if they want to win this match. Both the batsmen are playing, particularly Patel. He's capable of hitting out. I think I am confident now. India is going to surprise Pakistan at last in this one-day cricket. Well, India is in a very sound and winning position. As I've already said, they are going to surprise Pakistan. Gwaska, who's not such a great player in one-day cricket, has been playing very confidently. And he's executing the shots at will. And is particularly his own drives were excellent. And he has done a good job for his side. And on the other hand, Patil, who's a hard hitter, very good striker of the ball, has been playing in a usual fashion. And at the present moment, 173 for one in 24 overs is a very good going indeed. And India at the end of the 24th over, 173, and Pakistan at the end of 24 overs, 153. Either mid wicket got a lovely catch. Let's watch the replay again. And Patil had moved away past his leg stump even before Madassa had bowled. Very good. Uh, well, when he saw the batsman moving away, he bowled towards him. Therefore, he could not time it properly. And I took a grand catch. At mid wicket, India 173 in 24 overs. This uh, wicket may make a difference to India because the new batsman is to get in and there are only nine overs, more to go and uh, 84, 83 runs needed to win and let's see what they are going to do but I don't think it is a difficult task to do it because Gavaskar is fully set in and he can use the long handle and make the unnecessary runs this opportunity they will not have again. Play the remaining overs because the overs are not much. Scoring is 73 to win and uh, 
If they play the man, a Pakistani batsman play, there's no reason why they should not. Pile up the necessary runs. Kapil Dev is quite capable to lift the ball. And if he gets going, there are chances for India to win this match. Though at the present moment, it appears to me 50-50 because 73 runs require and uh, 8 overs to go. the passes runs he had made he batted beautifully and he was held uh, by Mansoor standing deep on the scale like boundary a low catch I think he played according to the situation and did a grand job for his side to pile up a good score that's first bounce to full stretch but uh, half a forward to a ball right across to push it to the onside and he was beaten and declared and be Well, 192 now for four in the 27th over and Mudassar once again breaking through. Two wicket uh, and seven overs. Seven overs more to go, I think. Uh, well, these two batsmen are capable to do it, but uh, new batsmen generally take little time to set in, you know, and that's why I feel, though it is still open, but uh, let's see how Mahinder and uh, Sharma bat. telling you earlier on in the morning that um, the two umpires signaling to the pavilion they are making 39 quick runs including three sixes a grand knock indeed to my great surprise india's captain who sat down in the previous test, in the previous one day match played like a champion he is known to be not a very top-class batsman for one-day cricket. The manner he played, I must say, I congratulate him for his wonderful knock and he's also responsible for raising the India's total. And Patel, in a usual form, played also very well indeed. But uh, to my great surprise, Kabul Dev, who played uh, neither full stretch forward, just half cock forward, tried to hit across the outgoing ball and uh, he was LBW. Anyway, India did a grand job, batted beautifully and uh, I anticipated to start with the main surprise, Pakistan and so far they have surprised Pakistan in 28 or 27 overs have been played and they have made more runs than Pakistan. The match is rather stopped for a little while, it all depends if you are going to get a good light it may be played, otherwise India will be declared the winners, but it is difficult to say yet whether it will be played or not. But anyway, cricket has been played in a most uh, interesting manner, and the crowd of 40,000 people who watched cricket today did not turn up even 5,000 people during the test match over here, must have enjoyed a hurricane hitting by Indian batsmen, as well as the Pakistani batsmen, uh, Zaheer Abbas, and uh, Miyadad gave a great performance of the batting, the manner they were hitting, Kapil Dev and Mahindra Ramanath. I was delighted to see the manner they were hitting six years after six years. It is the beauty of one day cricket, but I will still say one day cricket is no comparison with test cricket. One day cricket is a bread fight and other type of cricket is a bun fight, but you can understand the manner these people played cricket and the crowd enjoyed this cricket. I, my hat is off to the Abbas who has been scoring like a, uh, uh, like a 
scoring machine. In every match, he's making 100 runs against Pakistan. And after the first test at Lahore, I said he will pose a problem to the Indian attack. And he has been posing a problem to Indian attack. And let's see the other three matches. There he is. Fine innings from Gavaskar. Well played. Let's watch the... And cricket possibly one of the fastest runs he has made. He batted beautifully and he was held uh, by Mansoor standing deep on the scale like boundary. A low catch. I think he played according to the situation and did a grand job for the side to pile up a good score. That's first bounce to Mansoor at square leg. Brilliant. Exactly. Full stretch, but uh, half a forward to a ball right across. Foundation for India making 39 quick runs, including three sixes, a grand knock indeed. To my great surprise, India's captain, who sat down in the previous test, in the previous one-day match, played like a champion. He is known to be not a very top-class batsman for one-day cricket. The manner he played, I must say. I congratulate him for his wonderful knock and he's also responsible for raising the India's total. And Patel, in his usual form, played also very well indeed. But uh, to my great surprise, Kabul Dev, who played uh, neither full stretch forward, just half cock forward, tried to hit across the outgoing ball and uh, he was LBW. Anyway, India did a grand job, batted beautifully, and uh, I anticipated to start with the main surprise, Pakistan, and so far they have surprised Pakistan in 28 or 27 overs have been played, and they have made more runs than Pakistan. The match is rather stopped for a little while. It all depends if you are going to get a good light, it may be played, otherwise India will be declared the winners, but it is difficult to say yet whether it will be played or not. But anyway, cricket has been played in a most uh, interesting manner and the crowd of 40,000 people who watched cricket today did not turn up even 5,000 people during the test match over here. Must have enjoyed the hurricane hitting by Indian batsmen as well as the Pakistani batsmen. This uh, Zahir Abbas and uh, Miyadad gave a great performance of the batting, the manner they were hitting, couple days and Mahindra Ramanath, I was delighted to see the manner they were hitting sixers after sixers. It is the beauty of one-day cricket, but I will still say one-day cricket is no comparison with test cricket. One-day cricket is a bread fight and other type of cricket is a bun fight. But you can understand the manner these people played cricket and the crowd enjoyed this cricket. I, my hat is off to the hero boss who has been scoring like a, uh, uh, like a scoring machine. There are another one-day cricket matches to be played and this boy needs to be dismissed early if India wants to do or wants to surprise Pakistan. Otherwise, I'll call it as a year versus India. That's all. Thank you, Dala. Well,